I got involved with this wonderful program in California years ago and uh, when I did early retirement over there I came here and automatically brought that with me and I've been doing it in every school that I've taught in in Arizona since. I've been in Arizona for six years. The benefits are multiple. Um, a couple of my experiences with uh, National History Day is that it makes history exciting, first of all, for kids. It brings it alive. It's so much more interesting than textbooks. Um, those students who really like history, it enhances their abilities to learn history and to learn research. Um, I have a lot of students who come back from uh, university level to tell me that they can knock off a research paper in a weekend while everyone else is whining <laughs> because they don't know how to research and that it has really freed them up to do other things at the university level because they understood how to do proper research. Well, one of the most exciting things for me about the program is uh, watching my students grow because at the beginning of this program sometimes they feel a little confused and of uh, concern that they won't be able to do it but it's it's like solving a great mystery it's kind of like forensics what they do is they start with a topic they go down one road and when they finally did in down there they come back and go down another and they get more and more excited about about solving the problem about finishing something um, I've seen students do amazing things with these projects and they've grown in ways that you wouldn't imagine. They have um, been able to take information they learn in National History Day and they, they can apply it to other subjects. Uh, it opens the world, they, they have a, a different world view I think when they finish with National History Day. It, it's to me the most exciting thing that you can do in history. It's what I get up for every single morning when I'm working with students in National History Day. I, even when I retire, I know that I'm going to be volunteering for this program. I, I guess I can add that uh, I will be very happy to see the research come in so that we have an opportunity to present it to uh, school districts and to administrators who are already very busy people. They have a lot on their plate and sometimes it's very difficult to um, convince them that your project is worthwhile. And um, I had an incident when I was working at uh, another district than the one I'm in now where uh, I required my uh, advanced placement students to do National History Day as the research segment of the AP course. And it was myself and another teacher, we, we both had uh, AP students. Uh, this, uh, the other teacher did not require it, I required it. Um, in the end, of course, I took flack because my, my course was harder, but also my, my students scored better on the AP exam because they came back and they shared their, their experiences and their stories with other students. And in doing so, uh, the other students learned from students, so it was peer tutoring. So that when those topics popped up, and there are so many variations of topics on AP exams, when those popped up, they did better on their scores because they could tie that information in in a way that students who had not been involved in National History Day could not. So, you know, you know those are not scientific researches, but they're, they're certainly good examples of students who have made application of something that they've learned in the classroom.